Join me. Perhaps you may be able to help solve an unsolved mystery. Tonight, we will explore Lincoln's assassination. We have always assumed that John Wilkes Booth shot Lincoln, but is there evidence to back up this theory? We will go behind the scenes and see who Lincoln really is and examine the true events of Lincoln's last day. On April 14, 1865, was Lincoln's last day here on earth. It was also Good Friday. Lincoln was not a very religious man, but his assassination on Good Friday would be a topic of conversation throughout all the churches on, in the United States on Easter morning. On April 14th, Lincoln woke up at about 7 a.m. It was about 50 degrees out and it was a nice day. Lincoln started his day like he did many days, by reading the Bible and relaxing for a bit. He ate breakfast at 8 a.m. with his son Robert, who was back from the Civil War. He also ate with his wife Mary and his son Tad. Lincoln ate a single boiled egg like he does for most breakfast periods. By 9 a.m., Lincoln was sitting at his desk, and John Wilkes Booth was saying goodbye to his fiancée. Mary, Lincoln's wife, had gotten tickets to see Aladdin or our American cousin at the Ford's Theater. Mary decided to attend our American cousin, which is a comedy. Lincoln had a cabinet meeting that day, and went to the War Department as well. Lincoln mentioned to a friend that he was going to see a play that night, and the friend told him he should not go because of all the assassination rumors. By 10.30 a.m., Ford's Theater was informed that Lincoln will be attending their show. The news of the president attending the play gets all over town because the theater wanted to have a night where their show was sold out. The manager of the theater even bragged about Lincoln's attendance to John Wilkes Booth. John Wilkes Booth is known by a lot of people because he's a famous actor, and he acted at Ford's Theater several times. John Wilkes Booth goes into Ford's Theater that day and takes a tour of the theater, and he actually practices out how he's going to kill the president during the play and plans an escape route. Lincoln had a cabinet meeting that day that lasted for an hour and 30 minutes. General Ulysses S. Grant was supposed to attend the play with Lincoln that night, but he backed out. Grant's wife hates Mary Todd Lincoln, and she did not want to go to the play. She wanted to go home. At 3.30, Lincoln tells his bodyguard, and I quote, I believe there are men who want to take my life, and I have no doubt that they will do it. Lincoln also mentions to his bodyguard that he does not want to even go see the play that evening. Lincoln has a last-minute meeting, then he meets his wife, Mary, for a carriage ride around Washington, D.C. At 7 p.m., Lincoln and his family eat dinner together. Lincoln's security guard advises Lincoln not to go out to the play or to go out at night. Lincoln's normal security guard, William Crook, will be replaced by a guy with the last name Parker, who's known for being a drunk. When William Crook tells Lincoln good night that evening, Lincoln says goodbye, when usually Lincoln says good night. John Wilkes Booth had decided that he was going to kill Lincoln that evening, during the funniest part of the play. At 8.25 p.m., Lincoln and his wife make it to Ford's Theater. They make it for the second act of the play. When Lincoln arrives, the orchestra director, William Withers, stops the play and they play Hail to the Chief when Lincoln arrives. John Parker, Lincoln's worthless security, decides to go to the bar and have a drink, leaving Lincoln unguarded. Lincoln's driver was outside taking a nap. At 10.07 p.m., John Wilkes Booth walks into Ford's Theater. Booth plans on saying, Sink Semper Tyrannis, after he shoots the president and jumps onto the stage. This Latin term translates to mean, thus always to tyrants. At 10.15, Louis Powell has broken into the Secretary of State 
Seward's household and stabs him several times. Powell also stabs William H. Seward, who is the son of the Secretary of State. Powell leaves the house and he's spotted by Eric Hansel. Powell also stabs Eric Hansel. At this time, George Azerot is supposed to be killing the Vice President, Andrew Johnson. But instead of going and killing the President, he decides to go out and get drunk instead. At 10.15 p.m., John Wilkes Booth hears the funny line in the play, and then he comes up behind Lincoln and he shoots him in the back of the head. The bullet makes it seven and a half inches into Lincoln's skull. At the time of the shooting, Lincoln was leaning forward to smile at the crowd, and Mary Todd Lincoln was laughing at the play. Booth jumps down onto the stage and breaks his ankle in the process. The crowd recognizes him because he's a famous actor. Booth kind of stumbles around and he yells out, Freedom! He yells out this instead of his planned line. No one in the audience, no one in the audience really knows what's going on, and they think that this is all part of the play. Booth stumbles around and says, The South shall be free! And then he tries to escape. My name is Ella Ray. What were, what were you doing on uh, the night of April 14th, 1865? I was watching Our American Cousin. Did you see John Wilkes Booth during the play? Yes. Where did you see him? I saw him walking up the stairs to the presidential booth. What happened on the night of April 14th? We were attending the play Our American Cousin and we were sitting with the President of the United States. Who did you see kill President Lincoln on? on the night of April 14th. We saw John Wilkes Booth and my fiance tried to stop him, but he stabbed both of us. Okay. State your name for the record. William Weathers. How are you involved in Our American Cousin? I'm the orchestra director. Did you see John Wilkes Booth the night of August 14th, 1865? Yes, I did. What was he doing? Well, I looked up into the balcony and noticed that President Lincoln was slumped over his chair, and I saw John Wilkes Booth shoot him, and then I saw John Wilkes Booth jump off the balcony onto the stage. As I started to chase him to get him before he left the theater, he stabbed me and then ran out the back door. Now that you have a play-by-play -play of how Lincoln's last day went, you are going to collect evidence from this day and start to ask questions as an investigator would. What evidence do we have so far that Booth was a killer that is presented in this story? What evidence do we have so far that there was more than one person who was involved in this assassination? What's the real story here? Can you help solve this unsolved mystery?